In this video, I will show you how to perform a mail merge with attachments in Outlook. This is inspired by Mappy Labs in the post shown below. Let's take a look. Before I demonstrate the mail merge toolkit, let's take a look at some of our setup files. I happen to have an Access database that has my fields, title, first name, last name, traditional mail merge tape fields. However, I have an attachment column and this will allow me to put a unique file pertaining to each individual customer before we send the email out. And let's take a look at the Word document as well. In my Word document, we created a email message merge then I chose my data source, which happens to be my Access database, and I do have the option to edit and pick and choose exactly who I'd like to include in this particular mail merge. Happy adding everyone in. Next we'll insert the merge fields. We'll say Dear Title, and after that we'll do Space, we'll choose their last name. get rid of that extra space and now we are prepared to send the email. What's going to be special about this, of course it's always good measure to preview the results and if we would like to see a sample uh, with our attachment in place I can at least see the path of the attachment. Now I don't want to just see the path, I want to actually send them the file. So we're going to go ahead and remove that and complete the merge and send which is in our mail merge toolkit area on our mailings ribbon. This was added from our mail merge toolkit. I'll go ahead and click upon that. We are prompted to fill out some of the information. Now oftentimes if we've already performed one of these it will remember our settings from the last time we used this data source. That's a huge time saver. But indeed it is correct. I want to show the email address, uh, courtesy copy possibly. The subject line is going to show their last name space files. And as far as the attachment goes, we've gone ahead and said please use the attachment field column. Whatever happens to be within that column, that's the location of the file we'd like to send along. We can send it for all records, current, or just specifically person 2 through 10, whatever we'd like. And if we don't want to be prompted about which email account to use, we can say please use the default account when sending our email messages out. We'll go ahead and click OK to commit to the changes. It is giving me a warning saying time out. Are you sure you want to send this message with the attachments? Yes, I would like to proceed. It then processes the email. It sends them out. I had two records. Two were sent. Two were processed. If there were any problems, warning dialog boxes would have come up. But this is good. Everything worked well. We can simply close. So now that you've seen the process of how this works, keep in mind that the better, the more accurate your data source is, you can have any sorts of fields that you like, you too can put together quick, efficient email messages using even attachments. Thanks again Mappy Lab, for inspiring this video. Please check out other wonderful posts and products at the link shown below.